Open the App Store on your MacBook. Do a search for Media Master Server. Download the app to your computer. First, create a folder on your MacBook that you will use to store files for your students. You can make subfolders within that folder. From the Finder window, select File, New Folder, select a name for your folder, double click on that folder. Go back to the Finder control and select File, New Folder. Each time you create a new folder, remember to click back on your main folder to then create the next one. When you are done making your folders, go to Spotlight and do a search for Media Master. Open the application. Make sure it is turned on. From the General tab, click on the Select Root Directory and navigate to your newly created folder and select it as your root folder. Next, click the Settings tab. Put in your username, put in a password, leave the port at 8000, keep the secure HTTP box check for a secure connection. Next, in your dock, click and hold on the icon for Media Master. Continue holding and select Option and click on Keep in dock. Hold down your mouse again and select option open at login. Next, hit the yellow button to collapse the Media Master server. It should always be running in the background. Open the Media Master server. From the menu at the top of the screen, you can open the help files. You will also need to open your system preferences to get the name and address of your server. Click on the sharing icon in the system preferences. You can edit the computer server name at the top of that screen. Just below the name you will see the address of the computer. Computers on your local network can access your computer at your name mrichardson.local. The computer address will be the name you choose followed by .local and finally you will need to add the port with colon 8000. If you left the secure HTTP checkbox checked like I did, my address becomes https colon backslash backslash mrichardson dot local colon eight thousand
go to the Wi-Fi icon at the top of your screen. Select Create Network. From this screen, you can add a password if you want or leave it without a password. To create one with a password, select the Security tab and choose 40-bit. The password will have to be exactly five characters long. Input your password, then click Create. Adding your server to your iPad using Over the Air app. Go to the App Store, search and download Over the Air, all one word. Open the app. Click Add a Server and select any web dev server. Fill in the display name, i.e. the teacher's name. Put in the URL of your server. Mine is https colon slash slash mrichardson dot local colon 8000. Fill in the user ID you set up and the password. Clicking on the server will now allow students to see all the folders and items they can then download from your MacBook server. How to open a file in Adobe Reader to edit a PDF. Select the folder you want to get a file from. Click on the file. Click the sharing icon, select Open In, scroll through your list of installed apps that will open the file until you find Adobe Reader. Select that app. The file will then open in Adobe Reader where you can then use any of the annotation tools. selecting the newly created network. Open Settings, select Wi-Fi. Find the network you created under Devices. Select your network. You will see a warning that this network is not connected to the internet. Select Join Anyway. Students will also be able to project to your screen using AirServer. <clears throat> After selecting your network, they can pull up from the bottom of the screen to get the AirServer icon to appear. Select your server in the pop-up list and turn on mirroring. The iPad will then project to your screen if you have AirServer up and running.